Hello and welcome to the latest episode of Mini Discoveries. Today we're going to connect to nature through doing the RSPB's Big Garden Bird Watch. Now the Big Garden Bird Watch is a citizen science survey, so that's a, a big kind of wildlife survey that you, members of the public, will do and it gives a massive coverage across the country a big, big sort of data set that the scientists can then pour over and just work out what's going on with Britain's bird population. It represents a little snapshot in time of what's happening at the moment. The survey has also been good at ringing some alarm bells by spotting the declines of several species, notably the song thrush, but also what was once a really common bird, the house sparrow. To do the survey, you can register for free with the RSPB on their website and download everything you need, which isn't much. They will give you a nice, fancy, colourful bird identification chart. Very useful if you're just starting out on the bird identification process. To carry out the survey, all you need to do at some point on the 29th, 30th, 31st is set aside one hour for watching the birds in your garden, or if you've got a local green space that you can see from your house, because um, we're all socially isolating this year. If you've got a line of sight on it, it's up for grabs. I appreciate not everyone has a garden or line of sight on green spaces, so it might be time to get creative. It's also just occurred to me that there are probably existing webcams trained on bird feeders in the country at the moment, which you could watch and use to do your garden bird watch. I've checked on Google, Google has provided, there are, We've got uh, Vinehouse Farm with various feeding stations. There seems to be Simon King's Wildlife website and possibly even the Cumbria Wildlife Trust as well. Yes. Whoa, there's a lot of birds. Anyway, how to do the survey. So set aside your one hour, watch the spot that you've chosen and simply record the maximum number of each type of bird you see at any one time. This is slightly different from keeping a tally of all the birds that visit in the garden, and this is to avoid double counting. For example, if you're watching your spot and a robin comes in at 10 a.m., disappears, a robin comes back at quarter past 10, disappears, robin comes back at half past 10 and disappears, you would record that as one robin, not three robins, because you can't be sure that that's not the same robin coming back three times. So at the end of your survey, you'll have a little uh, record of the most number of each species seen at any one time. You can submit those results on the RSPB website. And again, I'll put a link in the video description. So there we go. That's pretty much it for today's episode. I encourage you to give it a try, see what happens. And again, if you don't have access to a garden or line of sight in a green space, try out the webcam method. You might see all sorts of stuff, particularly if it's outside of your area. So good luck and enjoy.